Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I decided to um, upgrade all the smoke detectors in my house, which left, left me with a couple of spares and I wanted to take it apart. So if we flip this over here, you can see there's a radioactive element, americium, uh, just a small amount, and I wanted to extract it and put it in my little collection of elements. So be aware that there is a danger element to this. Um, if you're going to extract this, uh, be careful. I'm wearing gloves. I also got safety glasses on and I'm going to wash down my workspace and wash my hands. Uh, I'm not going to eat anything after touching this stuff. So I would not recommend that you do this at home. Uh, so be careful. Follow your due diligence. Americium is an element on the periodic table. It uh, is a byproduct of plutonium and it has a half-life of 400 years. So if you have 400 units of it in 400 years, you will have 200 units of it. And I believe it decays into neptunium, which is another element. So the basic way how this works is the element emits alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma particles. Yeah, the alpha particles are easy to obstruct, so smart, it'll actually hit smoke particles, ionize them, and then a detector will detect the ionization particles and set off your detector. So that's basically how it works. If you want to know more about it, uh, there's a little thing called Google, and you can look it up on there. Okay, well, let's get back to uh, ripping this thing apart here. So, uh, since I'm not going to use this detector anymore, it's past its uh, seven year life, I'm going to basically destroy this thing to get it out. So, what I'm gonna do is just uh, cut it out here so I can open it up. opened up you can see there's some wires going to the speaker and there's a container here that contains the americium okay so at this point I'm going to remove the circuit board okay that's out so we're going to now remove this casing. I found the easiest way to remove the casings is to just remove the tabs. This is why you're wearing safety glasses also for projectiles. Okay, once it's exposed, you can remove it from the case. And that's essentially it right there, that little button right in the middle. So we want to get that out. So I found the easiest way here is just to peel back this. And then you want to get a little screwdriver and peel back this little cover here. Like so. And there you go. There's the extraction of the americium button. Let's see that's what it looks like there. So americium-241 does emit some alpha particles, uh, which can be blocked by anything as simple as gloves, uh, glass vial, even your skin will protect you. You don't want to ingest this stuff uh, as it could cause damage to your inner organs. Uh, I don't think it emits uh, beta particles and it does emit low level gamma rays. So nothing too dangerous, but you got to respect the properties of this metal.
So the amount of americium in an average smoke detector is 0.9 micro curries, which turns out to be about uh, 2.62 times 10 to the minus 7 grams. So 0 0.6, 0 0.26 micrograms. Not very much. Maybe in the future I'll get some uh, detecting equipment and we can do some readings. There's plenty out there on YouTube and on the web for what uh, these things emit. So yeah, that's uh, my project here. So thanks for watching.